past few years, neither my primary nor my secondary channels were verified. Around January 2014, YouTube decided to allow me to upload videos longer than 15 minutes on my primary channel. I cannot remember exactly when they did that, but it was around that time. However, my channel was not verified yet. Remember that this was still a few months but before I opened my secondary channel, Drew's Videos, and over a year before I uploaded my first video to the secondary channel. If you remember the posts that I made on my YouTube channel back then, the posts were regarding the delay I had making the channel intro video for my second channel. On screen are images of the posts that I made back then so that you don't need to look them up if you don't want to. But all that changed around late September slash early October when I got my new desktop computer that could actually handle making videos and rendering them out in high definition with a real video editing program, i.e. not Windows Movie Maker 2.1 slash 2.6 although those are good options if you're new to video editing. Watch my video titled I'm Hungry on my second channel to see what Movie Maker 2.1 is capable of. Link is in the description or click here to watch it. It will open in a new tab or a new window depending on what you have configured in your web browser. If you're curious, I'm currently using KDN Live for editing. It might not be the most stable video editor out there, but as far as I know, it, it is one of the most full-featured non-linear, meaning you can modify videos at any point of the video that you want, instead of being locked down to going from point A to point B, you can move all the video clips around and just do whatever you want, basically. It is both completely free, as in freedom, being licensed under the GNU GPL version 2 for version 0.9.10 and free as in payment meaning you don't have to pay money to use it. Lightworks is a nice video editor if you buy a copy of it but it's too expensive for me. Luckily KDN Live comes with a feature that will allow you to recover files almost exactly where you were when it crashed though you should save after doing anything it seems. One time I was using the spacer tool to move a bunch of clips on the timeline and it crashed when I put, them, put two clips and made them touch on the timeline. I'm not going to go too in depth with Kadian Life's features, but the recovery, how you can recover your progress on the video, it actually saves an image of the timeline while you're working on it. So if something bad happens to it, if it crashes, sometimes when it crashes, this screen doesn't pop up, but other times it does. It'll pop up a little window on the screen and it has a list of recovery files that you could use. Every recovery file has a picture of the timeline when you were working on it. So you know exactly where you were when you were working on it. Up until Thanksgiving Day, November 26th in the US, both of my channels were unverified. Starting today, November 26th, Thanksgiving Day, for the U.S., uh, both of my channels are verified. I know it's as easy as just going to the Creator Studio, clicking on the Channel tab, then clicking on the Verify button, putting in a phone number so that you, YouTube can send a text message to you, typing in the number they send you, and clicking on the button to submit the code, but it just feels so much more important and or special than that. I don't think I could have or would have verified my channels if I didn't have anybody watching my videos. So thank you to the all the people that have ever watched my videos and decided to subscribe. Even if you did not subscribe, I still thank you for deciding to watch any of my videos. Side note, I have noticed that I do important channel things on holidays. I just realized that as I was typing the script for this video. No, I've never used a script. This is just to keep myself organized for this video. Maybe I'll use them in the future. Who knows? Also, my mom has helped me so much with decisions on my YouTube channels and, and on how videos look, whether I need to change anything or not. To my viewers, again, thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. It really means a lot. On that note, 
I will see you in the next video I make, whether it is on my main channel or on my secondary one. All links, as usual, are in the description. Goodbye for now. YouTube sometimes automatically comes up with the best video thumbnails ever. This is Black Friday. I was going to record this on Thanksgiving Day. It's still the night of Black Friday, right? It's still the night of Thanksgiving somewhere, right? Right? Oh well.